What's going on guys? So in this video I'm going to kind of tell y'all the three main things you need for a shallow running boat. Now this is my new boat. I just sold the one uh, that y'all saw in the uh, Who Needs a Mud Buddy video. Uh, I had that boat for seven years and finally got rid of it. It's like getting rid of my first child. But ended up getting this Alumacraft. It's a 16 foot uh, with the tunnel. I put my Yamaha 70 on it, uh, jack plate and all. Um, <clears throat> and throughout the years of that video being on YouTube, I've gotten more than one comment. Uh, but probably the number one comment is how does it pump water? Well, <clears throat> as you can see, and my other boat was very similar set up to this. This is with the motor all the way down on the jack plate or most of the way down on the jack plate. But as you can see, um, with the tunnel the water can still get to the intake and that mud that we run in in that video <clears throat> is so so soft that it, it's it's almost like water so it, it draws the water from the mud and it feeds the uh feeds the intake as needed that's what what's good about a tunnel but the three main things you need for uh running shallow in a boat are motor elevation horsepower you can see i got a 70 on a 60 foot 16 foot boat and a good prop now <clears throat> prop is probably the most important when it comes running shallow because to get motor elevation you need a prop that can run at uh in surfacing conditions now this is a powertech cff4 it's got uh the venting on it for whole shot but any cup the, the main any prop the, can usually be set up to run shallow the main thing is uh, lots of cup now this prop the cup is kind of worn but it's an aggressive enough prop that it'll run with little cup um, but cupping what it is it's it's basically this edge rolled up and what it does it helps the blade hold that water um, so when you're when the props you know two three inches out of the water running uh, it can still grab the water and propel the boat now that's the prop is probably the most important when it comes to getting out of a mud hole say you're in two inches of water the boat's dragging a, a good heavy cut prop will use that mud to help uh, get the boat moving um, <clears throat> now number two um, motor elevation so the best thing you can do for that is obviously a hydraulic jack plate because you can adjust it you know if you're in deep water you can put it down if you're in shallow you can raise it up um, but if you don't have the luxury of a hydraulic jack plate the best thing to do is to get your motor mounted up on as high as you can get it on the transom um, <clears throat> now and that that goes a lot with matching the motor you have to the boat you have if you don't have a tunnel there's a, there's a misconception that you have to have a tunnel to be able to run shallow no the who who needs a mud buddy video that boat did not have a tunnel at that time i actually added it to that boat probably a year later after making that video so boats can run shallow without a tunnel it's just i think on that one and that boat was a 14 foot with a uh let's see it had a evan rude 25 horse on it and i had a cmc tilt and trim on it that raised the motor <clears throat> and that boat without the tunnel would run as you saw in some of those videos my, some of my previous videos would run in basically mud um, so the, the tunnel really just gives you better uh, shallow water hole shot in my opinion helps you get the motor even higher than a, you can with a, without a tunnel and, and then when running hard bottom shallow this boat here will do as long as there's an inch of water on top of it the with the jack plate all the way up the skegs even with the bottom of the boat so as long as there's enough water on top to feed the tunnel this boat will run across it um, <clears throat> same goes for my old boat the the one you can go back and look at the who needs a mud buddy video uh, and then I think a year later you, I posted a video of me uh, building the tunnel it's just a slideshow but um, it, it shows me adding a tunnel with the tunnel that boat would run it was set up the same way as this and i actually had this motor on that boat um 
for about a year um before i sold i sold that to a friend so that boat is still around but it's uh it's gone to better use um so i've talked about the prop elevation and the, the third thing is horsepower so you don't need a big motor to run shallow but it sure does help when you're using it to get um when you need to get out of a spot so um i started my first boat i had a 14 foot just a narrow uh narrow boat and had a 25 horse tiller on it and from that from that boat on i was convinced that an overpowered boat is better than an underpowered boat um you see my 14 foot i had a uh i think i went through four motors on my 14 foot flat bottom tunnel hole i went i had a 25 i went to a 40 horse mercury um that one didn't last long it, it committed suicide on the water hose actually and then i went to i bought a uh 1989 uh johnson 70 horse which is that green motor you've seen in a few of my videos and then i found this yamaha 70 on craigslist for like 500 bucks and it was blown up i ended up rebuilding it and uh it's been a great motor it's it's the best motor i've had and i ended up when i sold my other boat i still had my evanrood 70 or johnson 70 and i put that back on my old boat and sold it and then ended up buying this hole and putting my yamaha 70 on this hole but like i said the horsepower is probably your is is one of your best friends when it comes to getting these things out of the mud holes um now it, the, the mud buddies are, are are good for that because the props on those the lower units and props on those have a lot less drag than an outboard so they don't need as much horsepower to get out of uh, a soft spot now um, where these boat these style boats come in handy is if you're hunting the bays and stuff where there's not mud it's all sand um, you can get into a lot more places than a mud boat can and I've had mud boats try to follow me and get stuck and have to end up pushing because they hit they hit hard bottom and can't keep going and I can um, and because I have twice the horsepower my boat's twice as fast and uh, you, you just momentum is your friend momentum is another thing I mean a lot of people have commented on my videos yeah you uh, you know it, it's it's you're, you're proving science is right because it's just momentum. Well, yeah, it is. I'll admit it's, you get this thing going 35 miles an hour, not a whole lot that can stop it, uh, especially when it's, you know, slick and soft mud, you know, it, it, it'll go through it. There's not much stopping it. Um, I have, I've had, have had a lot of luck with uh, these style boats. And I mean, I beat them to, I beat them to shit and they, they keep on giving back so i've never had one i mean I, I think i'll always have this kind of boat i say that but you know how it is um i do want to get into uh, uh fiberglass boats but like i said these you can't hardly beat aluminum as far as the the toughness goes you, I, you don't have to worry about hitting anything i've hit many things and it's never really caused any problems so um with that said uh appreciate y'all watching like comment subscribe uh like i said this is my new rig uh you'll be seeing more of it in the future so thanks have a good day